Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun with a slight crack in the voice, and welcome to the Who's That Indie, bringing strategic, tactical, and survival indie games to your face holes. Now, today's game has been out for a while, and it played it quite extensively in the past, but it's never made it to the channel, which I apologise immensely to, because I actually really enjoy this game. It is Reassembly, where you are one ship in an entire empire. But you can build your empire, grow your fleet, and destroy your enemies. So this is my current ship, we'll talk about it in a second. And everything purple is also my faction. So there's two types of control in the game. There's this moving about, you can see I'm moving towards the mouse, I'm also moving with like, whilst with my thrusters. And I also can go into tab and go to command mode where I can tell any friendly ship to follow me, but it uses credits, credits being my money over here. So there are two resources in the game, credits which you get for selling resources and resources. Resources are used to build things and also obviously you sell them at stations to get money. So there's two ways of getting resources, there is destroying the enemy and taking the resources from their cold dead corpses or finding it growing on the space plants. What are you shooting at? That's dead, isn't it? Oh, it's a little, little fighter just there. Die, 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 die. Got you. So the space plants... Oh, there's an enemy ship just there. Space plants are all over the place. You find them growing on asteroids. Like, there's not much here. And usually stations are next to it. But there, you got to fight them usually. Because usually there's other factions around it. So, as you can see, there's a purple glow around me. Every faction glows differently. There's some more space plants. And there are... Ooh. Oh, that's not good. That's destroyed one of my friendless. There are many different factions in the game, and each and every faction has different resources, different equipment, and different some kind of what's well, weaponry, I guess. So each faction will look and behave completely different to another one. And also, if you die, you respawn at your nearest station without all your resources. So the way to unlock another faction to play them is to kill their mothership somewhere in the map. Now you can choose the size of the map. Uh, you can see this is the size of the map. Each of these colours is owned by a different faction. You see that's Tinkrel. That one there is red. That's a spi that's spiky plant. That's farmers. The purple one is should be me. That was Killy Kitten. We have to wipe them out. Do I own anything? I own this purple stuff here. Okay. So yeah, you can see each and everything owns these here. These arrows are... AI controlled player fleets. When you build a fleet, you can go through one of these wormholes and go to a new parallel universe. And you can make a copy of your fleet at that exact time you go through, which is saved to the system. So when you go to a new universe, you could potentially be sending your fleet to fight an enemy player. Obviously, like I say, they're AI controlled, but each one of these is made by a player. Ethan, Vimy's Bug, roll well, number one. And you can choose how many exist in your world, how many agents are currently wandering around. These are activated spawners. The blue ones are damage stations you can take over and make yourself. And also certain ships can also be spawners. If they have a factory on them, you can build. I can add a factory to my current ship and start building, but it'd be a bit too top heavy. So you can build your own ships. If I go to three here, this is every ship currently in my faction. These are all... AI built, but I can make my own. This is my current ship, the Eternal. If I hold Alt, I can drag it, and that now exists. This Eternal is now a ship which can be found in my faction. Of course, if you don't actually make a copy of it, they'll keep on making versions of your current flagship regardless of what you do. But yeah, the Eternal now exists in my faction. It costs 1,100 p power to make it. Power being how much your ship can currently control. And as you go through the game, you start unlocking more power. So press U. This is stuff I have got. Things which are currently glowing or things I have yet to unlock, as you can see, they require credits. And this is how much extra power I can add to my build if I spend 760 credits. You unlock more power, you can add more things to your ship, you can make your ship bigger. So I'm going to go to my ship now of 1. This is my current ship. In the top here, you can see how much resources it can hold and how much power it's currently using. So this thing here is using a thousand out of fifteen hundred power. Now you can put equipment down anywhere as long as it can connect. Right now it needs three things. It needs some kind of weapons, 
So this is your command module. If this gets hit, you die. And it needs some kind of thrusters. I have a massive thruster at the back and loads on the side for maneuverability, as you can see, and the front. Now, I have a shield projector here, here and here, which can take a bit of a hit. I have containers for storage here all over the place, and these are my generators. Without generators, you will run out of power. But yeah, there are different types of weapons in the game, as you can see. I've unlocked a bigger plasma cannon. But there's auto cannons which fire fast and then have a bit of a cooldown. There's plasma cannons which fire continuously. Defense cannons which are extremely fast firing but usually trying, you know, fire at extremely short range. Flat cannons, of course, which are quite, quite good against fighters. You also have a variety of missiles and drone launchers. So you can build your ship however you like. You can go massive amounts of weapons, entirely fighters, or just entirely a missile ship. But as you build it... Obviously, that ship gets put into your fleet. So it's good to try and build either heavy ships with lots of fighters or some kind of in-between. Now, another thing you can also do is put a factory on your ship, which I'm going to do now. That really is only one, isn't it? Yeah. Put a factory on your ship, and then it can start producing other ships. See, this, this now has a factory. This can now spawn other ships. Now, if I spawn a ship from my factory... It will then follow me around so I don't have to recruit it. But it requires resources. Now I have a factory production ship. Which means I can now produce on the go. Now if these ships are currently active out in the system and not stations, you can spawn on them. And obviously they're going to be pulling in resources and spawning stuff too. We can also change the build order. The current build order for this ship is the Bakelskilt, two inter and three interceptors. So as you can see, I can build many of this, put you there. And actually bring you back out. So yeah, this is my current lineup. This is how it builds things. So now as I grab resources, I can actively build what I want. As you can see, it's slowly building the new piece. There we go. And I can start building my own new ships and actually bring a fleet into battle. Huh. So every time I press F, with resources it'll produce a new unit, which it calls a child. Of course, there'll be other ones of these out there now, because I've created it, which means I can potentially build a fleet of these. I can have this one in my builder, so I can build these from this. If I have the resources, and just start massively making a mobile fleet. Which, of course, will be quite tough for the players to fight. Now, the combat is... Oh, die, 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 die. I'm going to kill the core, the enemy ships die. Like I say, each and every faction is completely different than what it has. Like, I'm using the Terran faction. I only have, like, the Farmer faction. I think one of the other factions. But each faction has vastly different what it can and cannot build. So we're seeing significantly different designs. Uh-oh. Look at all those drones I'm firing. So we look at the top... Left, you'll see how many drones I've got going, and obviously those little health bars are how many still alive. I'm going to die. This player fleet, this is a player fleet, it's very tough. It told me they had one ship. One ship! Okay, got no resources. I may need to get some more stuff. If I go back. So this is the bindings option, as you can see here. You can choose to bind weapons to each and everything. As you can see here, I have bound almost all my guns to auto-fire. Apart from my front gun, which I'm going to leave here. So all the missiles are bound to middle, uh, to uh, right mouse. All my actual guns are bound to auto fire, so they'll fire, and nothing's bound to middle mouse or point defense. Now, obviously, I can add point defense in, but I'm not going to just yet. So now I have no guns I control, I just have missiles and drones. Now, your ships are kind of small. You can actually change the sizes. As you saw, I do own bigger plasma guns, which I'm going to put here and here, which just looks dumb, but I'm going to do it anyway. But you can also drop hull pieces, which you can change the sizes of. So you can start building really, really big builds. And of course, as you can see here, now I'm actually running out of power. Let's build, put you at the back then. Actually, put you there, why not? So yeah, you need to make sure you have the power, but obviously the bigger the ship, the more resources it will need to build, so the more expensive it is to bring them in for your forces. So you build something too big, only you can really power it, which means you kind of need to have supporting ships with you. 
Oh, look at that big cannon's tearing them apart. Drones! I'm out of power, I'm out of power. Drones! F, okay, I built something. Don't know what I built, but I built it. What is that? Look at that, it's grabbing resources to build itself. Good. Press C to trade it off for credits. Oh yeah, because I'm a factory, I don't need to. So yeah, I have a mobile base and I have a ship following me, which is badly damaged. 18 additional R. I also need to put some better thrusters on this. It can't turn. But the fleet gets significantly powerful because obviously this kid of kitten here is an enemy faction. It didn't used to be. It used to be just a player controlled ship, but now it's taking territory. It, oh, ow. And it shouldn't. I just destroyed a piece of my ship. Ah! Yeah, I need I need better end, better thrusters. But as you can see, this area is very blue, which means this isn't my faction anymore. So if we just start destroying things in here, we can probably take it over. Oh, that's why. A lot of the fighting early on will be over the resource fields. Like, you can build harvesters and things. Drones! I've already lost my ally. My ally's dead. But you get credits for killing things. You get credits for obviously selling resources. And obviously your first build will look really bad until you get the resources available to build what you want. Like, my ship does not look good. But I can build it on the fly. So we need better thrusters. We need much better thrusters. There we go. Now obviously I'd like to keep my core safe, but we need probably some more storage too. Maybe another generator at this stage actually. There we go. Save. Okay, the thrusters are being built, the thrusters are built, I can now turn a little bit better. Die, die, die! Build me another drone. But yeah, the goal is obviously to keep building, expand your people. Oh, there's another random faction. Who are you? Don't know what they are. Oh, that's a big cannon you've got going on. Okay, my friendly ship's already gotten stuck. And I'm going to try and head south to try and fight some different factions to show you. But yeah, like, like I said, there are eight different groups in the game. And obviously because the players can build their own. Now from those at different factions, you can find some vastly different units. That's a dead ship just there. That's a lot of dead ships. Oh, dash turtle. That's just mostly guns. Kill it. Where's my allied ships gone? They got stuck. There they are. That's a twerp. That's got to be made by someone. I think it's a farmer ship. The farmers tend to hang around the resources. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. We are currently um, entering the spiky plant territory. The spiky plants are very vicious. Like, they literally are living plants. You go past their asteroids and they're everywhere. Oh, and every single one of their plants tries to shoot you. Keep making more. Okay, what is this? Why is there beams coming from this? Kill it. So yeah, every single one of these plants is an enemy. Is that just it? I'll take that. Press free to target. Okay. Let's drop you out to there. Then... Okay, let's put you to here, actually. Use three to edit target ally ship. Build order. Oh wow, here they come, here they come. Quick kill them all. But yeah, each and every faction has massive, massive stuff going on. But yeah, the uh, graphics are pretty basic. 
it does mean there are some pretty major fights going on. Because obviously the more you push in on your own, or the more you build your own force, the more you're going to find. Oh my god, look at the screen, it's covered in death. Oh, I need to spawn a ship with its own factory to complete the cycle. I'm losing shields. Just need to die. Oh, there's so much. Yes, this is why you don't go against the plants. There's just so many of them. What is this? They're already spreading to their own actual nests. Dig through, dig through. Gas dead. The plants aren't there. Oh, I've got pulled in. I'm dead. Yeah. And obviously, as you want to go in, you want to kind of build your own fleet and not get destroyed. And now I've left all my resources there, so the enemy's going to grab them and build even more ships. What is going on over here? I just got spawned by whatever that is. Now, you can also build your own stations. You can build everything you want to in this game. You can design it your entire way and build something really, really stupid or really good. This still alive. This thing's actually killed two of my primary ships. I don't even know which faction it is. All I know is it's got 2,000 power. Two thousand power. Just die. Finally. Oh, I've unlocked it. Was a, it was a mothership. Awesome. So if I just go and uh, save and quit, I can show you how it goes. So you start. As you can see, I've got a few different groups here. You pick your slot, and then you pick your faction. As you can see, that was the Tinkerbell. You have Terran, Farmer, Red, which are pretty cool, which are hard mode apparently. Tinkerbell, Crystalline, B, and Sentinel. You can't be the plants. Red being hard mode because they don't actually have that much in the way of weaponry, and also they're entirely diamonds. Obviously the Terrans are very much triangles and squares, but yeah, these are almost entirely diamonds. But yeah, I'm going to go back to that. So, my biggest force, as you can see, I was actually trying one over here. My biggest force is this one, where I have built this ship. It doesn't look that big, because it's not. It's basically a massive missile boat. It just spawns drones and missiles instantly, and has huge amounts of massive guns. Now it's only like, um, let's have a look. Don't actually know how much resources it is, but, ooh, eagle die. Platform one. How much energy has this got? Uh, one. It's only at 2,900. It's called a fire team leader, because it's designed to build its own forces. It is literally designed to build its own fleet of guardians and deep scouts. Because I was actually building my own forces, as you can see. I have different stations, snipers, apparently they're locked currently, fire team leaders, and high guardians. Because they were designed to be fighting, and the Caldarian Swarm Guard, they were pretty good. The Swarm Guard is literally just a missile ship. It was designed to be fighting as a group together. I can actually get my fleet down. I can't remember what I was doing in this one. This is a much smaller world, as you can see. Each one of these is a fire team leader moving forwards. Look at that pulsing. So yeah, some battles get pretty intense as things start meeting, especially when the enemy starts spawning their own spawn of ships as well. And of course, every time you move through, there's a slight chance you might meet one of your previous builds. That's not really something you want to do to meet your previous builds, because you're building them to defeat them, then you have to build them to defeat yourself. I've got the teleporting! Okay, that raptor's being destroyed. There we go. What is that? Cataract Mark Three. I haven't touched this faction or this entire map in like a couple of years. I used to play this a lot in the past. Destroyed the multi-purpose battle radar. What is that? The anti-probe? Okay, I'm building. I don't want I'm building. What a... Okay, that's slowly building itself. That's... Oh, wow. I need to defend that. There's nothing there. Okay, it's got a thruster. I build a factory? What did I just build? That built a, a Deep Space Scout, which has a factory at the centre of it. The Deep Space Scout is designed to build its own fleet as it travels. So I now have a ship which can build other ships. 
Oh! Okay, things are getting tougher. Oh god, that thing moves fast. What is that? Oh, I crashed again. But yeah, as you can see, depending on how you've built your ship, it may not be that good. This ship is built around supporting a fleet. And the fleet doesn't exist yet. Even my supporting ship doesn't have much of a ship on it. Uh-oh. 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 Survive! What was that big thing? The whole nought. Wait, who created that? So obviously I could build a better ship, and I might. Get off. So I have no resources. So I'm just going to build that up again. There you go. So when these plants get to a certain level, they start turning blue with resources. That's when you start capturing them. The whole nought by PRP Purple Rabbit. Uh-oh. 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 It's eating me. It's eating me alive. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm not good at this game. But as you can see, you get in. You build more epic fleets. I can also just recruit people. I'm going to just do that. Join me and join me. Thanks, guys. It's called no. That's 20 credits. You upgrade. Manipulator proton beam. Hmm, I've got everything. Bindings look good. My fleet. Eh. I'd like to build a swarm guard with 2,700. I remember I stopped using the swarm guard because how I'd built it, it's, it kept on getting shot off pretty quickly. The unnamed spaceships exist quite a lot. They were previously the Deep Space Scouts, weren't they? Yeah, they were. You can actually see my progress. A sniper. The Interceptor, I think I was changing a few things. Yeah, I gave most of my ships some kind of drone. Okay. Do this. As you can see, I've started to slowly build it up a bit more here, but yeah. Do that to there. Can I not do two? Darn. But yeah, I was trying to build a significantly more powerful weapon, but it was taking a while, an awful while. Plasma, plasma mortar, I forgot about these. Two plasma mortars, uh, proton sword, what have we got? Rail guns, let's have a couple of rail guns. Now you can mirror things, I'm also going to bind these guns to auto fire. There we go. They're also slightly out of the, def uh, the shields, okay. And now we're going to save. So I'm going to get a couple more guns. Oh! Oh, it's back already! The mortars are active. Whoa! Okay, I've, I've target locked it. I actually don't have the resources to build that other ship, the Swarm Lord. Okay, I've released a lot of fighters. Come on. Oh, I'm poor. So one thing's for certain, I definitely build up my ship better. This is not a well-built ship. Oh, just die for me. Die! Yeah, I'm going to go back and have a look at the other one as well to show you what the other new factions look like. So this one here is the Crystals. And as you can see, their entire build design is entirely different. It, it is purely crystal. Straight up purely crystal. So, they are much tougher to use for how you have to build them. And also their upgrades and things, as you can see, very little actually here. 
So they're a much tougher faction to use. And obviously, each of every faction, like I say, does handle completely different. The crystals are almost entirely based around how many guns can you put in. And they're based around these massive mobile factories. As you can see, these are the mothership factories. There we go. So, yeah, this is what we're defending. These massive vehicles. So, the entire faction, like I said, plays so very differently. Oops, I have no thrusters on the front on this thing. I only have thrusters on the back and sides. Oh, we've got two. Okay, it fires eight drones. See this? Just immediately has a fleet of 40 drones out there. But I, I am one small ship amongst many, and so I'm able to build up. And as you can see on this map here, there's Plant Zone here, Tinkrell owns there, Pip Xanadu owns that one. That's just his contestant. Who knows what that one is? And like I say, each and every group has its own build, its own style. And you can even change the behaviour of the ships. You have them like kite, rush the enemy, balanced. There is. What is this? Oh. I don't think Crystal have shields. Though they're even weaker. Drone. What are they shooting at? But yeah, you want to get resources of self for credits. You need credits to upgrade your ship. Have I not the factory block, have I? The Nano Assembler Drone Launcher. The Tempest. Go at this. What's this? I'm kind of curious about it. Do that to there and remove this and this. Okay. As you can see, you can actually watch it build. Oh, they're very much glowier. It's going to take a bit longer to build. Oh! So you can also lock on the enemy ship. Die, die, die. Oh, no, I'm going to die. Oh, nano assemblers are repair units! I can actually launch repair units, so I can actually build a medic ship. Interesting. Oh, look at that! It's building another mothership! And my drones are helping! Okay, maybe I want to get rid of those then. Maybe I don't want as many nano assembler drones as I'd like. But that's another mothership. So obviously if I can actually get myself into one of those or build something similar. These ships can take a lot of punishment. It took four of their ships, which are slightly bigger than me, to kill me. Oh, we're in the spiky plant world. Okay, I'm being repaired. Oh, my weapons are so close range. Oh. Oh, there's so many fighters and drones everywhere. Die. But yeah, I highly recommend this game. It's been out for a while. There's even an expansion which came out last year for it. Which has like planets and so on in. I didn't know about it until I streamed and they and my ah and my stream told me about it. But yes, this is a game I would highly recommend. If you like stuff like Star Sector and building your own ships, oh I'd highly recommend this. There's dead friendlies in that. Look at the size of this. Ow. Is it shooting me? I'm being repaired. It's going to take forever. I need better guns. And my guns are actually pushing me backwards. 
I think it's repairing faster than I can kill it. Yes, Tubule is probably going to survive. I hate the spiky plants. But either way, I've been the Fallen Shogun. He's a what mine one. And this has been another Who's That Indie? Because strategic tactical and survival game straight to your face holes. This is one I would heavily, heavily recommend. Oh, we're not doing well, are we? Ciao, for now. Be awesome. Be epic. And I will be seeing you. I want you. In the next one. Or a beam.